Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are discussing about computer graphics, applications of computer graphics and visualization, detailed explanation of pixel and screen, and how pixel is represented on the screen. So what is computer graphics? Computer graphics is an art of drawing pictures, lines, charts, etc. using computers with the help of programming. Computer graphics image is made up of number of pixels. Pixel is the smallest addressable graphical unit represent or represented on the computer screen. So now let us see the applications of computer graphics. First is graphs and chart. An early application for computer graphics is the display of simple data graphs, usually plotted on a character printer. Data plotting is still one of the most common graphics application. Graphs and charts are commonly used to summarize functional, statistical, mathematical, engineering and economic data for research reports, manager summaries, and other types of publications. Typical e examples of data plots are line graphs, bar charts, pie charts, surface graphs, counter plots, and other displays showing relationships between multiple parameters in two dimensions, three dimensions, or higher dimensional spaces. Computer-aided design. A major use of computer graphics is in design process, particularly for engineering and architectural systems. CAD, Computer Aided Design or CADD, Computer Aided Drafting and Design Methods are now routinely used in the automobiles, aircraft, spacecraft, computers, home appliances. Circuits and networks for communications, water supply, or other utilities are constructed with repeated placement of a few geographical shapes. Animations are often used in CAD applications. Real-time computer animations using wireframe shapes are useful for quickly testing the performance of a vehicle or system. Virtual reality environments. Animations in virtual reality environments are often used to train heavy equipment operators or to analyze the effectiveness of various cabin configurations and control placements. With virtual reality systems, designers and others can move about and interact with objects in various ways. Architectural designs can be examined by taking simulated walk through the rooms or around the outsides of buildings to better appreciate the overall effect of a particular design. With a special block, we can even grasp objects in a scene and turn them over or move them from one place to another. Data visualizations. Producing graphical representations for scientific engineering and medical data sets and process is another fairly new application of computer graphics, which is generally referred to as scientific visualization. And the term business visualization is used in connection with data sets related to commerce, industry, and other non-scientific areas. There are many different kinds of data sets and effective visualization schemes depend on the characteristics of the data. A collection of data can contain scalar values, vectors, or higher order tenors. Education and training. Computer generate mo generated models of uh, physical, financial, political, social, economic, and other systems are often used as educational aids. Models of physical processes, uh, physiological functions, equipment, such as the color-coded diagram as shown in the figure, can help trainees to understand the operation of a system. For some training applications, special hardware systems are designed. Examples of such specialized systems are simulators for practice sessions, aircraft pilots, hair tra uh, traffic control, personnel. Some simulators have no video screens, for example, 
flight simulator with only a control planner for the instrument flying. Computer art. The picture is using is usually painted electronically on a graphics tab tablet using a stylus, which can st simulate different brush strokes, brush width, and colors. Fine artists use a variety of other computer technologies to produce images. To create pictures, the artist uses a combination of 3D modeling packages, texture mapping, drawing programs, and CAD software, etc. Commercial art also uses these painting techniques for generating logos and other designs, page layouts, combining text and graphics, TV advertising spots, and other applications. A common graphics method employed in many television commercial is morphing, where one object is transferred into another. Entertainment. Television production, motion pictures, and music videos routinely a computer graphics methods. Sometimes graphics images are combined as a live actors and scenes and sometimes the films are completely generated a computer rendering and animation techniques. Some television programs also use animation techniques to combine computer generated figure of people, animals, or cartoon characters with the actor in the scene or to transfer an actor's face into another shape. So computer graphics is also used in the game to develop a graphics. Image processing. The modification or interpretation of existing pictures such as photographs and TV scans is called image processing. Methods used in computer graphics and image processing overlap. The two areas are concerned with fundamentally different operations. Image processing methods are used to improve picture quality, analyze images, or recognize visual part patterns for robotics applications. Image processing methods are often used in computer graphics and computer graphics methods are frequently applied in image processing. Medical applications also make extensive use of image processing techniques for the picture enhancement in tomography and in simulation and surgical operations. It is also used in computed X-ray tomography, position emission tomography and computed axial tomography. Graphical user interface. It is common now for application software to provide graphical user interface. A major component of graphical user interface is a window manager that allows a user to display multiple rectangular screen areas called display windows. Each screen display area can contain a different process showing graphical or non-graphical information and various methods can be used to activate a display window. Using an interactive pointing device such as mouse, we can active a device window on some systems by positioning the screen cursor within the window display area and pressing the left mouse button. Now let us see what is a pixel. Pixel is a word invented from picture element is a basic unit of programmable color on a computer display or in a computer image. Think of it as a logical rather than a physical unit. Pixels are the smallest unit in a digital display. Up to millions of pixels make up an image or video on a device screen. Each pixel comprises a subpixel and that emits a red, green, and blue color, which displays at different intensities. The RGB color components make up the gamut of different colors that appear on a display or computer monitoring. monitoring. So how do pixels work and how are they used? Number of pixels determines the resolution of a computer monitor or TV screen and generally the more pixels, the clearer and the sharper image. The resolution of newest uh, 8K full ultra high definition TVs on the market is approximately 33 million pixels or 
uh, 1080 vertical pixels and 1080 vertical pixels which totals 207360 it's normally shown as 192080 or just as 1080 pixels p stands for progressive scan a 4k video resolution for example as four times more pixels than full high definition and 8k as 16 times more pixels than 1080 pixel. Other common display resolutions include the following that is 480p, which is standard definition, is 640 into 480 and is often used for small mobile devices, and 720p, which is HD, is 1280 into 720, and 1440p is which is 2550 into 1440 and considered quarter HD is often used for PC gaming monitors and 4K video resolution which is ultra HD is 3840 into 2160 pixels. What do pixels look like? So you can see the picture that is how the colored pixel, pixel look. So the specific color information that a pixel describes is some blend of three components of color spectrum RBG. Up to three bytes of data are allocated to specify a pixel's color. One byte for each major color component, a true color or 24-bit color system uses all three bytes. However, many color display systems use only one, one byte, which limits the display to 256 different colors. A bitmap is a file that indicates a color for each pixel along the horizontal axis or row called the X coordinate and the color for each pixel along the vertical axis called Y coordinate. A GIF file, for example, contains a bitmap of an image along with the other data. Pixels are also either backlit by additional panel or, uh, or are individually lit. An LCD TV screen illuminates all the pixels using an LED black backlight. If the display is mostly black on an LCD screen, but only a single pixel needs to be lit, the whole black panel still must be lit. This leads to light leakage in the display. This more noticeably during the credits of a movie, for example, where there is a slight glow around the white letters against the black background. OLED displays, uh, by contrast, don't need a backlight as each individual pixel illuminates itself. So this means when one pixel needs to be lit, no light is leaked to the surrounding pixels. In the movie credits, for example, this means an OLED display won't have the same light glow around each of the credits as it would be would uh, as it would in a LCD screen. So, how big is a pixel? The physical size of a pixel depends on the set resolution for the display screen. If the display is set to be set to its maximum resolution, the physical size of the pixel will be equal the dot pitch or the dot size of the display. But if the resolution is set to something less than the maximum resolution, a pixel will be larger than the physical size of the screen's dot. So that is pixel is used more than one dot. What is megapixel? A megapixel is a million pixels. The term megapixel comes most often in photography. However, screen resolution can be measured in megapixels. For example, 4K is approximately 12 MP and 1080p is 2.1 MP. So this is all about pixel. Thank you.